Hi guys, in this video I'm going to briefly explain how we dry out the stators for the large drive units uh, for the Tesla model uh, uh, SNX. So we try drying them by uh, taking the motor um, like this, this cap off and just letting it dry with some heaters and get some air moving and we had bad luck with that, that just didn't work for us, didn't dry enough. So what we're doing now um, is separating them out. So the inverter needs to be removed and the, the whole drivetrain uh, needs to be removed. That's easiest to do when the motor is positioned like upright, the inverter up. And once you remove all of that, um, we would remove the rotor, including this bearing right here that needs to be removed. Uh, of course, this cap needs to be removed for the roller to come out. And then we have this custom cap uh, that is sealed on the bottom. And what we do after we remove the roller is we position this, this motor so that this way is up. And before we seal the cap, uh, I put a bottle similar to this one, uh, but, but uh, empty. The bottle is empty. And I put it in there so that there's less alcohol that, that is needed. Basically, the bottle just uh, uses up the empty space. And then we rotate the motor so this way is up. And we fill that space with 99% uh, is isopropyl alcohol. It needs to go barely up to this uh, seal, but not touching it. Because we don't want the alcohol to actually, you know, uh, dissolve the seal or anything like that. And uh, this is the area where we pour the alcohol through, directly into the stator. Then it needs to stay this way. We fill with alcohol for about a week, uh, a few days. And then periodically we'll measure the isolation you now between the ground and uh, one of these uh, uh, stator connections. And then basically if the isolation is not going up, then it's, it's probably not gonna get any better. Uh, so it's gonna go up to maybe two or five mega ohms with alcohol in there. And uh, basically after, you, after a few days when you see it's not going up again, then you can drain the alcohol and let it dry uh, with no alcohol. So we just drained it today. It was uh, roughly um, two mega ohms when we drained the alcohol. So I'm, I can test it what it is right now. This is the test button here. So it's still the same because it just started basically drying from uh, drying the alcohol off. So it's going to take a few days for the alcohol to dry and then hopefully if everything is good it's going to go up to 50 mega ohms or higher and that's considered good. So once it's 50 or higher we can reassemble the motor and uh, yeah make sure everything is reassembled correctly of course. But anyway, if this video is um, helpful to somebody, please leave a comment. Thank you.